another good one for you today, shoulders and abs. Yes, you heard that right, training abs. So started off the shoulder workout with just normal overhead press seated on the Smith machine. And then on my last set, I did it in a different sort of fashion. I did actually pause reps where I come down and take the tension completely off the muscle and then explode up. I worked up to 225, so two plates on this. And then I worked my way back down to 135 to do these explosive reps where, like I said, I take the tension completely off the muscle, reset, and just explode out of the bottom. So I really focus on the concentric portion. I'm still controlling it on the way down, but my main focus is the concentric or the pushing part of the motion. Working on explosiveness of the muscle, working on the speed and the strength. Now, this next one you might not have seen. This is actually a trap bar, a deadlift bar, a hex bar, however you want to call it. Normally you stand in it and you do deadlifts or you do shrugs, but I'm actually using it for shoulders. It gets you in a neutral grip, so your palms are facing your head. It targets the front delt, but it also gets the side delt a little bit, and it's just nice to switch it up and try something new. So that also, because I'm standing up, it's gonna activate my core and get me ready for the ab exercises. Tried and true, side lateral raises. This was my first set. As you can see, the weight's very light, but keeping the tension on the side delt, the medial delt, and making sure I get the full range of motion, constant tension, controlling the reps. So obviously you have to do both sides of this to do alternating. Sometimes I'll do these with dumbbells, sometimes I'll do these with the cables, sometimes I'll just do these with like plates, like free weights. Obviously that's not the same as dumbbells, so I mean like take a plate from a bench and just do it that way, but I enjoy using the cables because it gives you constant tension. Moved from there on to plate raises, and I'm showing you three different variations here. So just straight plate raises. I think I did five reps of those. And then I did the bus driver, I guess you could call them, where you're taking the hand that's on the top, is doing all of the lifting, and you're really just guiding it with the bottom part of the hand. But it's kind of an alternating front raise. And then I did static holds, where I'm sort of pausing at the top. So just different ways of working your muscle, different ways of shocking your body. and keeping things interesting. Don't just keep doing the same thing over and over. That was it for shoulders. I'll keep the full workout down below, but I moved on to abs and I don't really do anything crazy for my abs. I like to do cable crunches. And as you can see there, I pause to show you how I don't have a lot of tension on my biceps. I can flex my biceps so you can see what it looks like when I had the tension on it, but I'm controlling the weight with my abs. I'm not pulling with my arms, I'm not pulling with my back, I'm just flexing my abs, keeping my core tight, and making sure I'm getting the correct activation that I need in my abs. So I superset that with these Roman chair leg raises. You can do these bent knee, you can do these hanging if you want to make them more difficult, you can do them where you do it to the side for your obliques, but keep things nice and simple, so targeting the rectus abdominis on the cable crunches and then you are still going to target the rectus abdominis here but it's going to work a little bit more of the lower ab region so that was the workout hope you enjoyed see you in the next one